friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very highly weighted Disney haul. So today I'll be showing you all the things I bought in Disneyland Paris in September and in London last week. Without further ado, let's let's get into it. So excited, so excited. Also for you who haven't seen this Disney haul that I filmed two years ago, um, I made these ears myself. Let's start with the things I bought in Disneyland Paris about two months ago. I'm gonna show you the biggest purchase first. It is not big, but it cost me 300 euros. It's my annual pass. It is the Magic Plus. It is so worth it because I'm gonna be visiting Paris more than just once in a year. I also got the Photo Pass that is um, a year long. It runs for a year, it's the AP one. So excited, I'm an annual pass holder. What a dream come true. I bought myself a new pin lanyard because I don't have an official Disney pin lanyard. These are a bit wider than the ones for your keys and I have one that is Finding Dory themed. It's very cute, but it's not for pins and I really like this one. Um, I really wanted a pin lanyard. This is gonna be perfect for an outfit that I'm planning. It is a very basic one that says Disneyland Paris and Minnie Mouse and it's like polka dotty and really cute and simple and has like this little mini card in the end because we were talking about pins and pin lanyards wait we're missing one Ugh. i bought four pins and traded one pin in paris i'm going to show you the traded one first I, I cannot remember what what the pin was that i traded but i got this in exchange you winnie the pooh one it's very simple i don't know will i keep this but i like it i also got this really cute union jack british flag pin it combines the two things i love england or like the uk and disney i needed it <laughs> wendy became really special to me this trip um i love peter pan and i love the movie but i've never really like bonded with wendy but this trip i really just oh Wendy became so special. So when I saw this pen, I knew I just needed to get it. She is so cute. I love the colors. I love the design. I got so many hugs from her this trip that I just, yeah, I needed a little Wendy pin. I absolutely love Mary Poppins and Bert in the beginning of Stars on Parade. I absolutely love the Jolly Holiday outfits. I love that scene in the movie. And when I saw this next pin, I just, it was just... It was fate. It is Mary in her beautiful Jolly Holiday outfit and a couple of the penguins. It's just so beautiful. I, I just, I have no other words. And Mary is such an icon. And the last pen that I got was this really cute basic Olaf pen. I got this because Frozen is a thing between me and my friend Laura that I went to Paris with. They didn't have any Anna pins and Anna is really like, she's my gal and I really wanted an Anna pin but when I was there they didn't have any Anna pins so when I saw the Olaf one I was like, okay it's very cute, I'm just gonna get it. I have an Anna pin on her way to me thanks to my friend Susanna who's working in Paris right now. These two little fellas might be my favorite purchase from Paris because they're just so adorable. I actually bought one at first because I wanted it for my brother as a little souvenir. I just, I fell in love with this guy that I just decided to get him a little friend. The aliens from, um, from Toy Story and they're magnets. It's just like me and my brother, just like two little idiots. My brother has loved Toy Story since I can remember, so I always tend to get him little Toy Story things. And literally the last thing I got from Paris before I left was, uh, this postcard. I put it in frames so the frames are not from Disneyland Paris but the card is. It's so pretty. It says Disneyland Paris but it has like the Eiffel Tower and and Remy from Ratatouille and all these like little French treats. As you can see I'm gonna put it on my wall because Disneyland Paris has a very special place in my heart and it's my dream to work there. Thought I, I needed a little Paris decoration. Moving on to the huge huge frozen bag that I have full of Disney things. Obviously, the first thing you're seeing is the, the bag. It is a reusable bag, and when they asked do I want it, I was like, yes, because it's pretty. And I just, I love this artwork of Anna and Elsa. And I actually didn't have a bag where to put things when we were shopping in London. And I was just like, okay, I think I'm gonna show you all the non-Disney store 
things first because there's a couple of things that are not from the Disney store but they are Disney themed. We went to Primark and I found this really cute Olaf notebook. You can really tell that there's a frozen theme. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute. It has real little Olafs here and there. I mean everywhere. This is how it looks from the inside. Little Olafs in the corners. I actually don't love Olaf but this would just very cute and I, I'm obsessed with notebooks. I always have to buy a notebook if I find, find one that I like. So ha, ha, I have a problem, okay? And then I went to this shop called The Works with my friend Amanda and I found two books that are Frozen <laughs> themed. <laughs> Frozen is not even my favorite movie but there's just so much nice Frozen merch around right now that I just, whoops. This is very interesting. It's a book called Let It Go. I know that somewhere it's called Conceal Don't Feel, but it is a frozen twisted tale. A story of what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other. I actually started it on my way home from England, but I still haven't gotten really far. I think I'm gonna keep it as a like a, a winter book for myself, but I can read the back for you so you know what it's about. Following the unexpected death of her parents, Elsa finds herself the sole ruler of Arendelle and mysterious powers begin to reveal themselves. Elsa starts to remember fragments of her childhood that seems to have been erased. Pieces that include a familiar looking girl, determined to fill the void she has always felt. Elsa must take a harrowing journey across her icy kingdom to undo a terrible curse and find the missing princess of Arendelle. I think it sounds good and easy and quite like chill to read. Chill, haha. <laughs> Sounded interesting to me. The next book this one is so beautiful. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. This is just like a, a children's book of the, the Frozen story. The, the one that the movie tells. But there's a twist. This has like OG sketches of the movie. Like, what they were illustrating. Look at the first drafts of Elsa. This is so cool. And in the end it has like all um, a list of the names of the people that were um, a part of the building of this world and drawing and animating and stuff. I love animation and I love hearing about it so I just thought this was really fun and it's just so pretty and I love the idea of, of like having kids one day and they, then they can read this book and like look at the original illustrations. I just, I like that. And now I'm pretty sure we go into the Disney store things. You're most likely to be able to find these things there or online. I think I'm gonna show this first because I've been using this already. This was a very spontaneous protest but oh my god I've been looking for one. It is a metal water bottle. Save the turtles and stuff. I'm so down with the kids. Ugh. It is a Frozen 2 themed one. Look at this beauty. It's like holographic but like blue. Great for the environment and great for my eyes to look at. I could cry because this next thing is so cute. She's everything. Say hello to Anna. This is Frozen 2 Anna. Isn't she pretty? You can buy her in a separate box, like just, just Anna. But me and my best friend Lore, we actually bought a set of three Pop Funkos. There was Anna, a little cute Olaf, and an Elsa one. The Elsa one was like kind of special. You couldn't get her in that outfit, in that hairstyle alone. Laura loves Elsa and she just went crazy over the Elsa in the box because she is like the one with the ponytail and a different outfit when she's like running on the ice in the trailer and she was like I need that, can we buy that, can we buy the, the, the box of three and I was like I want Anna so heck yeah we can. So I got her and she's so pretty, she has so many freckles and like the cute outfit. Just I cannot wait to cosplay her because I will cosplay Anna in this outfit. I have one more Frozen thing in there but before that I, I'm gonna show you a Christmas ornament that I actually bought for a friend. She asked, can you please get this for me because she didn't want to order it because ordering stuff from the Disney, like shop Disney to Finland is expensive. I picked this up for her. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Took my breath away for a second. <laughs> this year is Sleeping Beauty's 60th anniversary and there was two beautiful Christmas ornaments that Disney Store released. This one and the same one but with Aurora wearing a pink dress. And my friend already has the pink dress one so she asked can I pick her up the one with the blue dress. I looked at all the ornaments in the Oxford Disney Store that I saw and they were all painted beautifully. This is such a gorgeous ornament. I would just put it on a table because I feel like it would be too heavy for a Christmas tree, but even better because you could look at it 
all year round. I low-key wish I would have bought this for myself as well, but um, I would have bought it just for Philip because I love Philip. But I'm, I'm very happy that I got to pick it up for my friend. Yeah, it's here. Hope you like it. <laughs> I really hope my mom or my dad are not watching this video. So mom and dad, if if you are, just click yourself away because the next thing is gonna be a Christmas present for you. My mom loves lighting little candles around the house during this time of the year. And when I saw this, I knew that this would be a perfect Christmas present for my parents. Ta-da! It is a little Christmas house, but you can put like a tea light in there and it has like Donald and Minnie and Mickey and Chip and Dale like in the windows and stuff. I think this is super cute. It's so festive. Oh, I didn't notice. Look, Goofy's also there and Pluto. We always do like a little Christmas winter scene on one of our like side tables in our living room and this is gonna be so perfect to put there. Oh my god, I'm so so excited to finally unwrap this beauty. By the shape of it, guess what it is? Yes, it's a mug. We all knew it. It is the Frozen 2 mug. <laughs> I am so obsessed. This is probably one of the most beautiful mugs that I've I've ever owned. This is right there with the Snow White, like Art of Snow White mugs. This is, this is that pretty. Of course, I'm most excited about this beautiful Anna. She looks like a freaking fighter and there's sleeves and like, I don't know, can you see that? But the, the, the snow is sparkly. And then on the other side, we have Elsa who looks like a queen. That she is. Oh my God, I didn't notice that it has the knock or naki as we would say it in Finnish. But to be honest, the knock or naki doesn't look like that. When I was little, I was told it, it looked like this horrible monster. And then Frozen comes up with the, with the pretty horse. I was like, that's another uh, deadly water creature spirit. That's not Naki, but pff, whatever. But yeah, I'm obsessed. The art style here is just gorgeous. It's the same as on the, the Frozen 2 bag that I got. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Frozen, but in 2D. Oh, that would be perfection. But yeah, that is everything Disney themed that I've got in the past two months. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you did, please hit thumbs up so I see that you really like this Disney content that I'm putting up and join the fam. Down below, there's a subscribe button. I'm gonna put it here. Also, I never say this, but ring the bell if you want to get the notifications when I post a new video. I love you all very much and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye.